Hi everybody, welcome, welcome back, and good to see you again. What we're going to do, we're going to do what we call meditation on Monday, right? Monday meditation, uh, M&M. It's going to take about 15, <coughs> one, five to 20 minutes. Going to have a little zip of tea to make sure my voice will stay connected to you. Hi to everybody. Hello, Sabrina. And yes, hello to everybody here, yeah, as far as I can see the name, and uh, we're going to go through the meditation, I'm going to explain everything, hopefully that will help everybody, the, the idea of the meditation today is to help you with releasing of stress, you know, some people are going to stress because of uh, uh, work, some people are going to stress because of bad relationship or good relationship that they cannot handle. Uh, for some people, it's a, a business health issue, you know, but we need to explain before we're getting into the meditation, what is stress? So basically the whole concept of stress is energy. Uh, you can call it energy, you can call it uh, uh, light, uh, you can call it chi. It's energy. It's energy that coming to you, but has no room to be expressed. And because that energy uh, uh, coming to you and you cannot express it, it cannot be manifest, that energy gets stuck. And when it gets stuck, uh, we feel stress, feel stress. So what are we going to do today? Because today the whole idea is to releasing stress. Uh, it doesn't mean avoiding pressure or avoiding stress because we need the energy. We need the energy to come uh, to us and to connect, but we don't need the side effect of the energy that include uh, stress. That's what we're going to do. Now, in our body, connect to our spirit, uh, we have five connections. One of them is in the head, which is the area between the eyes and the forehead, you can say. Uh, that's the energy where the mind, the, the thought are coming to you. So if you get stressed with your mind, it's coming from here. Okay? It has to do with how you sleep, how you connect, what you're thinking about. And you have the expression level, which is in the lips or in the neck. Okay? One of those two areas. And this is has to do with how you express your mind, how you express your thought into words. Then you have the third level is in the heart, which is your emotions. Um, how you deal with your emotion, what type of emotions come to you. Because the heart is thinking too, not just the mind. It's a different kind of energy here, okay, the heart. Then you have in the belly buttons, where we used to get feed when we were fetus. And that belly buttons, that's when we receive the bravery, the gut feeling, the go for it, the psychic ability, uh, acting like a kid when it's time, taking some risk, you know, where a lot of fun comes from that. But if you don't release the fun from there, uh, it's turning to uh, stress. And then you have the, the, the fifth level of energy, which is in the area of the end of the tailbone, Oh, from the front, it's the sexual organ. In this area, it's called the energy of uh, releasing, the all energy of doing. And uh, in that energy of specifically that energy, the sexual organ, the productive organ, the end of the tailbone, this is what makes you feel uh, relaxed and safe or what makes you feel stressed. So I just gave you an introduction. I think it's time to get into the meditation. And hopefully every Monday we will meet here for 15 minutes, sometimes 20, depends on the explanation. And we're going to get everybody going on meditation on Monday to make sure that we all uh, getting relaxed on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, hopefully I'm going to keep the recording on my website so you all can go after that to Vital 
transformation.org and enjoy yourself. And in the end, I'm going to keep it for question and answer for two, three minutes if you have some question after that. So let's get going. All right. So to get into the meditation, you see I'm sitting very comfortable, but comfortable can make you fall asleep. We don't want that. We want to be comfortable, but we don't want to fall asleep because if you fall asleep, you don't follow the, to the idea of the alpha state of mind that you can actually get to the energy you need. And meditation is a wonderful thing. Uh, when you close your eyes, there's meditation with the open eyes. Uh, either way, it's good. If you don't trust it, you can keep your eyes open. If you trust and you want to let go, you can close your eyes. It's all working. So you don't have to worry if, uh, about if it's not working or working because whatever doesn't work right now will work later. Just make sure your feet, when you sit comfortable, touching the floor. I want your feet to touch the floor. You, you can feel the floor basically is, is, is touching your, your feet and, and uh, you relax. Make sure your shoulders are leaning back. You know, if you're a yoga master, it will be much easier for you. You know, you don't want to sit like this because then your breathing will not be as good as you can. And relax your arm to the side. Making sure your body is happy. Put a little smile on your face, you know. Not too much, uh, like this. Make a smile because it relaxes the muscles here from your forehead down. So this is all nice. So when you smile, it's all become nice. Wonderful. And here we go. So let's focus on the breathing first. So when you breathe, you want to feel your belly button. You can put your left hand on your belly buttons like that and basically feel how the belly is going up and down. So let's focus, not the chest. Let's try to breathe from the bottom, okay? Let's try to focus on three of them. Okay, here we go. And you hold it a little bit. And you release. Great, great. You're doing great. I can see you from here. And again, inhale. Hold. And release. Wonderful. And again, inhale. Yeah, release. Now, after we did it three times, what do you want to do? You want to put your left hand on your belly buttons, the right hand on top of your left hand. You can look at something above your head without moving your head. You see how my eyes moving? I'm not moving your, my head, okay? Good. Now you can close your eyes while we focus on your breathing. Inhale and exhale and relax. Today, what we would like to do is to work on releasing the stress, but not avoiding it, so we can get the energy that it's needed. We start with the mind, the mind, or on your body, it's your forehead. So inhale and exhale, energy, the color is white like snow or light purple like lavender good focus on your breathing start feeling your mind your brain inhale all the energy that needed through your mind, the mind controlling your thought. Some of the thought are too much. We want to say goodbye to them. So please, I use napkin. What I do with the napkin, I'm going inside my brain and I'm cleaning all that, those negative thought. And I call them names. And I basically release them. I'm not kick them out. I'm just saying, listen, I'm busy today for negativity, so I'm going to let you go. So start going through your mind and see if there is something you worry about, something in the future that you kind of worry, something in the near future, in the far future, and start wiping them out from your brain 
and give them away to the back to the galaxy. now I want you to think about one positive thing that you wish will happen in your life and I want you to think of it as if it's happening now We thank the mind, we have gratitude for the brain, the mind, to let that positive thought into my mind. We're going down to the second level of releasing of the stress and we're focusing on the lips, on the tongue, on the mouth, on the neck. The color is between light blue to dark blue. And we are thinking about all the bad words that are coming into our lips. The words that you shouldn't be saying, but sometimes it's kind of come out of the lips. We no longer need it because it creates stress. So let's remember all the negative words we speak to ourselves and others. And we wipe them out. We clean our lips, our tongue, our gum. the vocal cord, we're releasing those negative words and we start being focused on the positive words. Please tell yourself, what kind of words would you like to hear today? I want you to hear those words. What kind of words? would you like to say today to somebody? Can you hear those words? And you can see that your heart rate going down, your stress level going down. Words are so much power in words. Instead of we saying, I don't have, Say to yourself, you do have, and you will see the miracle that will happen the day after. Now we're going down to the heart, the brain of your emotions. The heart carry a lot of the pain. They say that there is a muscle in the heart that really can break when your heart emotionally got broken, it can actually break the physical heart. Be careful. The heart need nourishment of emotions, not just words. What do you want to feel that you don't feel? What is the negative feeling that you have right now? What is the concern that you have? Connect to your emotions and remember, the emotions is only a POV, a point of view from your point of view. There is so much more to your feeling, but you have to allow it to happen. So which part of feeling you don't like that you feel? Is it insecurity? Is it fear? What kind of feeling you're not happy about? Anger, dependency, Clean those feelings. Take your heart in your hand right now and clean it inside out from all, 
of those negative emotions. Feel pity for yourself, sadness, anger, fear. Release those emotions to go somewhere else. Emotions cannot be erased, they can be released or transformed or replaced. So those emotions that went away, now replace with whatever you wish for yourself to feel, joy, bravery, safety. Think about all of those emotions that you want to feel, want to feel loved. Instead of being addicted or dependent, try to feel passion about something. Let your heart sink and focus on your breathing. Fill up your heart with so much joy, it's so beautiful. Yes, yes heart. Feel, I'm allowed my heart to love today. I'm allowed my heart to sink. I'm allowed my heart to receive love and give love. Now we're coming to the belly buttons. As we come to the belly buttons, move your hand into the side, put them on your feet. Good. And now inhale and exhale. Focus on the belly buttons. The color there is yellow, orange, almost like peach. And this is the gut feeling, meaning your psychic ability, your ability to be silly, the child in you. The child in you is living there. Because of life experience, a lot of time, when we go into a lot of stress, all the stress is being basically kept within your belly. That's why people with a lot of stress feel it in your stomach stomach ache so the storing of the stress of the entire body it's around your belly buttons that's why this one is important the belly buttons carry stress that coming from over responsible when you feel you're responsible for yourself for others for everything which is beautiful to be responsible but you cannot be overly responsible so you lose yourself. Let go of that. And take more risk with your life. Think about one thing that you wanted to do, but you're either embarrassed because it feels like a child or it feels like something inappropriate. You have to allow that to happen whatever it is, running on the beach in a cold weather day, whatever is singing out loud in the street, whatever that you kept and you're embarrassed to do, that's a stress that's been stored in your belly buttons. Let the kid in you come out. Yeah, yeah, I can feel you now. I can see you running around orchard with so many trees that full with peaches all over you can see the color you can smell it allowed the kid in you to become alive again good good and now we come to the fifth level just the color is red at the end of the tailbone the front is the sexual organ in the back is the, the tailbone. The sexual organ, the reproductive organ, a lot of people don't like to talk about that area because it's kind of embarrassing, sex, or sexual organ, or reproductive organ, but you shouldn't be ashamed. It's almost like you talk about your finger. It doesn't make any difference, or your nose, or your lips. This area, storing the whole idea of action, manifestation. A lot of time, we have stress over manifesting things that we know was right, but we don't know how to end it. For that reason, in that area, we're storing fear. We're storing 
the whole idea of restoring the whole idea of not going into action, not going into being ourselves, and for that reason we we start being block, and when the energy block in that area is very dangerous health wise and emotionally, because this is the end of the body. That area always have to be kept safe and sacred. So allow yourself when you're breathing in and out to see what type of fear you have about manifesting yourself and manifest yourself in a small doses would be better than waiting five years until you manifest yourself in totality. Focus on this area, please. Release all the stress of action and turn those action, instead of a big giant project, into small little project that will be built into big giant project. One step at a time. And feel how this area is releasing energy now of sharing and giving and considering a love to the world. Now, I want you to use your imagination. You line down the beautiful park. That park is oversee the ocean. It's on a cliff. And there's many trees. Trees with peaches. Trees with plum, red plum. Some trees are just green and beautiful. Some tree have some blue fruit and some tree has some white and purple flowers. I want you to experience the smell and the color and say to yourself, my day will be not just without stress, it will be productive and to be so much joy that I'm going to reflect on this universe. Inhale a few times, then open your eyes. I'm going to take a zip of tea. Hopefully uh, that help everybody to be more relaxed as I can now have a chance to see all of you guys. Wonderful to see all of you, wow. So many beautiful people here this uh, afternoon. I hope uh, that whoever joined me today will join me next Monday again. Every Monday we're gonna do meditation.